yesterday, major cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum, experienced one of their biggest sell-offs to date, while the meme token Dogecoin also experienced another major decline. Bitcoin plummeted 30%, while Ethereum dropped down to around $2,000, shedding 40% of its value. Dogecoin, with another big tumble, lost 45% of its value. What caused this rout in the crypto market? Is the cryptocurrency bubble bursting? Had analysts been warning us that this would happen? Today, we'll talk about this and more as we take apart the reasons behind the crypto market's biggest correction. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Muniba Invests. On this channel, I will be helping you make smart investment choices by doing extensive research and bringing you the best cryptocurrencies and stocks to add to your portfolio. If you are ready to take the next step in your journey to financial freedom, then make sure to smash that like button, subscribe and press the bell icon. This really helps out the channel a lot and tells YouTube to push this community to other like-minded investors. The crypto market just experienced its biggest correction in recent times, with all major cryptos taking a tumble. Bitcoin, the leading digital currency, has had a massive sell-off that started last week on May 12, when Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla will no longer be accepting Bitcoin as a payment option because of the negative impact Bitcoin mining is having on the environment. Bitcoin dropped 12% that day and has since not recovered. Recently, Bitcoin took another hit, with its price dropping 26% because news came out that China banned financial institutions from offering cryptocurrency services. China is the undisputed world leader in Bitcoin mining. Chinese mining pools control more than 6% of the Bitcoin network's collective hash rate. Not only does China manufacture most of the world's mining equipment, but massive mining farms are located there to take advantage of extremely cheap electricity prices. As you can see from this comparison, China dominates Bitcoin mining by a very wide margin. Furthermore, China is home to four of the five largest Bitcoin mining pools over the past year. F2 pool, being the largest, has mined about 18% of all blocks over the last 12 months. Poolin is China's second largest Bitcoin mining pool, mining nearly 13% of all blocks in the past year. Wobo is the third largest Bitcoin mining pool, and it mines approximately 9% of all Bitcoin blocks, while Antpool mines about 8% of all blocks. Looking at all of this, you can clearly see that the price of Bitcoin depends a lot on the Chinese crypto scene. This is exactly what Elon Musk was talking about when he tweeted that Bitcoin is actually highly centralized. News coming out that the Chinese government will no longer support crypto mining is a huge blow to the global cryptocurrency market. So, what now? Is this the end of crypto? Should you sell everything and take your investments elsewhere? Not exactly. Although this is a major hit to the crypto market, I don't think that this is the end. This is not the first time the Chinese government has openly shown their disapproval of the Chinese crypto mining scene. They did this in 2017, and then in 2019, and now have done it again in 2021. In 2017, China shut down its local cryptocurrency exchanges that at the time accounted for 90% of global Bitcoin trading. In 2019, the People's Bank of China issued a statement saying it would block access to all domestic and foreign cryptocurrency exchanges and initial coin offering websites. Chinese government's open criticism of the crypto market has not been able to shut down the crypto market before. So I don't think it will be able to do it now either. Now, let's get into some technical analysis and see what historic data is telling us. So here we have our stock to flow model of Bitcoin. That clearly shows Bitcoin's four year cycles. Over to the left, we have our Bitcoin price. And down here at the bottom, we have our years. So on here we can see these massively big run-ups, followed by multi-year crashes. Massively big run-ups, followed by multi-year crashes. And this is where we are right now. Historically, we have broken through this average into overvalued territory. 
before having a big correction and falling back down. Where we are is color coded yellow. And over here, as you can see, we still have a long way to go down before having another halving event. If we were to go back to the same territory that we are in right now, in the past around June 2017, we had this very big crash followed by a massively big run up that caused a price correction. If we go back another four years, back to April 2013, we had this very big crash followed by a massively big run up that caused a price correction. So to me, this indicates that we are not at the top of our full four year cycle yet. If history repeats itself, Bitcoin will crash through this average into overvalued territory before crashing back down. That being said, I won't be making my decision based solely on this, but this does indicate that this isn't going to be a big multi-year crash. Based off of this, the drop in prices of these popular coins may seem dramatic, but considering the high volatility of crypto assets, it should not come as a surprise. Crypto has always behaved like this. Even in April 2013, the price per Bitcoin dropped from 266 to around $50, then rose back to around 100. For long-term crypto holders, this is not anything alarming and nothing more than a buying opportunity. If you really believe in the crypto scene and did not just enter the market to make a quick buck, then this is a great time to buy the dip as crypto prices may never see such lows again. And that wraps it up for today's video. Remember, the intent of this video was not financial advice. Cryptocurrency is extremely volatile and you should always invest with caution. If this video was helpful and gave you a good insight on the current market situation, then make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest investment opportunities. Also, share your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to have a conversation with you all. Until next time, take care and keep investing.